Bloody Mary brings us to an interesting discussion of blasphemy. Um, and this comes from the readings that I asked you to check out. I'm sure you're reading them word for word at this point in the term. But, you know, blasphemy is where South Park comes from. It's home. So you speak, it's birth, it's uh, how it was created really comes out of blasphemy. And blasphemy is really, you know, taking the sacred and disrespecting it. Uh, and we see this in the first couple episodes with, or before it was even South Park, with how they per portray Jesus. Um, you know, here's a sacred religious victor, fic victor, figure, um, you know, that's been stripped of power, that's been humanized, that's been subjected to the carnival, um, you know, in lower body stratum humor, you know, and all this stuff. And I think it's so, so, so important um, that blasphemy, you know, there's also a tinge of hatred or dislike of a religion that's commonly associated with it. Uh, I don't know if that's the case with South Park. Um, again, like disliking the religion, it's more about the believers, you know. Um, and this can often, you know, blasphemy can extend to, um, you know, the gods, to blasphemous portrayals of the gods themselves, uh, you know, people of God like the Pope or priests, um, any of these religious figures, um, nuns, etc. Uh, but the question really becomes, and what's explored in this chapter, is blasphemy free speech? And the answer is, fuck yes it is. <laughs> it is free speech, 100%. And in most countries, it's recognized as such, okay? Um, where you would have an issue in the United States is, uh, you know, some states have had um, blasphemy laws, uh, etc. Um, but basically, you know, the 14th Amendment, um, basically one of the things of the 14th, 14th Amendment was it, it made it so that blasphemous communication uh, was protected under, the, under the, fir the First Amendment. So it applied this federal law to all, all states. Now some states still have bits of this, um, but the, the thing is, is that you cannot be censored for blasphemous um, portrayals, except for by corporations. What does that mean? It means if you're employed by a company and you make blasphemous content, an episode of a cartoon, a TV show, a radio program, that company has the right to censor you. Remember that companies can censor employees. Um, it's one of their rights as a, as a corporation. But you cannot be censored by, uh, by the government but yeah, damn right, a newspaper can censor you, uh, etc. But you could go out in public and critique any religion with blasphemous portrayals, and the police couldn't stop you, and governments couldn't, couldn't stop you. But the way it is censored is via, via uh, corporations. So private companies can censor it. Facebook could censor it you know, if they wanted. So South Park you know, has experienced this, obviously, with portrayals uh, in Comedy Central, with the portrayals of the Prophet Muhammad, uh, the, the Pope, and in, in the Virgin Mary in um, Bloody Mary, the episode Bloody Mary. And as we'll see in Trapped in the Closet, um, there was also some censorship around uh, that episode as well in some ways because of Tom Cruise, which then amounted to, um, you know, some of the critique that we see in episodes 200 and, and, and 201. But we'll talk about what Tom, you know, how Tom Cruise kind of helped censor um, his portrayal in Trapped in the Closet, which is an episode about Scientology, partly about Scientology in one of my favorite episodes as, as well. So, um, but these episodes have been censored by Comedy Central from pressure from advertisers, pressure from extremist groups, pressure from celebrities, etc. Um, they have censored episodes, okay? This comes from the reading, and this is a quote that I, that I pulled out that, you know, um, that, that I love. And, 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 and the important part, too, is, you know, like, nothing's sacred in South Park. Everybody is a potential victim. You know, no one's safe, religiously, 
or whatever. Um, but South Park, they mock not the belief. This is so important. They mock not the belief, but the believer. And credit the believer where their lives reflect good ethical practice. They also point out hypocrisy whenever possible. As we'll see in um, the episode all about Mormons, this is a major part where they actually give credit to some of the really positive elements of the Mormon belief system, but yet critique um, you know, how people ha have taken advantage of the beliefs financially or in, in other ways. Um, so we'll talk about that more next week.